What's going on guys? Killer6 back with some breaking Borderlands 3 news today at Gearbox PAX Digital's panel. I don't know what to call it. They revealed a bunch of really cool things concerning the future of Borderlands 3. So let's just skip all the intro stuff. Let's get into it. Up first, they revealed that Borderlands 3 would be coming to the next generation of consoles, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series S. And while that's not really surprising, what is surprising is that they are letting current console owners of Borderlands 3 upgrade their game to the new consoles for free, including all owned content and your save files. And this is huge. I don't remember back on Borderlands 2, I started out on Xbox 360, in case you guys didn't know. I don't remember getting to move to the next gen consoles for free. But if you guys remember something I don't, let me know in the comments, but I don't know. But this is, that's really awesome, man. Like not too many companies are like, oh, you know what? New console, new generation, eh, come on over for free. So that's really cool. In addition, the games will run at 60 FPS at 4k resolution which is mind-blowing for consoles like i know that the new consoles are supposed to be good but that's like high-end computer quality good so that's really awesome if it if it's absolutely true then that's really awesome the new gen versions will also finally give true split screen capability including the option to do up to four person split screen couch co-op and additionally they're promising the ability to split the screen horizontally or vertically your choice and they're also giving this option to current gen console players via free patch. They didn't say when that's going to be. So hopefully soon, because I know that there's a lot of you console players out there that want to do some couch co-op with your significant other or your friends. And I'm sorry to, to tell you that it's been kind of in a bad state for a while. Now on to what I consider to be the extremely big news. Borderlands 3 is getting additional add-on content later this year. It won't look anything like the campaign content that we had with Season 1, however. Instead, there will be a brand new game mode, as well as one new skill tree for each Vault Hunter. And to show it off, they gave us a look at Flak's new action skill, Gravity Snare, which is a throwable trap that tosses enemies up into the air before slamming them back down into the ground. Enemies caught in its radius will have their attacks interrupted, giving Flak a pretty sweet crowd control skill. They also revealed Flak's new pet, a Hyperion Loader Bot. This bot can do a variety of attacks depending on how you spec it out, just like all your other pets could. Finally, at the end of the press conference comes a tease that crossplay might finally be coming to Borderlands 3. I don't know what's taken so long. I, from what I've heard rumor wise, it's been that Sony's been dragging their feet. So I'm guessing that they finally got all the kinks worked out and they're finally going to like get this thing going. So I'm pretty excited about all these bits of information. I cannot wait to hear more. I know there's been some speculation about additional skill trees and season two type content. So it's nice to get some confirmation that they plan to continue to support this game down the line. So let me know in the comment section below, what do you guys think the new game mode will be? And what else would you guys like to see content wise in Borderlands 3 in the coming months? If you found this video informative, then please take a second and Tap that like button, hit subscribe for more Borderlands 3 news and information. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.